Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to come on today and do a tutorial on how I put my um, witch shoe jelly bag together. This is part of the new release from Scrap Diva Designs. <clears throat> it is super cute. Um, you don't have to line it, but I did. And so I wanted to show you how I did that. I've seen other ways and stuff too, but um, and I've seen people not line it. So it's just kind of up to you. Um, but I wanted to show you how I put mine together. So let me jump right into it. So I have this piece, which I cut two of. So this is the piece that makes, you know, the regular part of the bag. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, score on the... Um, the score line down there now there's uh, another line right by it so that's why I'm kind of there's the stitching line so sometimes that can be a little tricky when it's right next to the stitching line so hopefully I'm going to get this good while I'm you know, on camera of course you know how things go when you're <laughs> when you're trying to do something on camera it sometimes doesn't work out as well but hopefully we can get it okay so I'm gonna score right here now it also comes with this piece this does the outline okay so what I did when you cut the outline out it gives you here this outline okay and it gives you um, also this piece that cuts out okay so what I did was took this piece that came out I'm going to um, glue it down here now it's just a tad shy of covering up everything. So like, you know, it if you had tiny little seed beads in there or something, you know, it wouldn't hold it. But just for looks and, you know, for, for main pieces, actually, I don't want to put that on there. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put my glue right along this very edge of the bag because like I say, it's not going to hang over. It's gonna barely catch some of the edges. But then I'll show you what else I did after that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all the way around. Okay, and then I just kind of did, kind of put some glue across, you know, some of the more solid lines just to hold it in place, just real quick and easy <clears throat> okay so I'm just gonna kind of line it up there the best that I can so I'm trying to get the top and bottom covered the sides like I say it'll be a tiny little bit peeking out but it covers pretty dang good okay so there's my piece for here now I'm gonna take um, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take my other one. Do the same thing. So find this little score line right here. So you see how the score line is right next to the stitch line. So make sure you fold on the score line and not on the stitch line. And sometimes, like I say, when it's really close to each other, they it wants to go on the stitched line rather than the score line. Okay, so burnish that down. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I already cut two of these out, so I'm gonna go around the edge. Real quickly. Like this. Put a line across each one, just to kind of make it stick down in the center like this put it down like that just kind of get it to where you can barely see um, you know any daylight through it <laughs> and then just kind of make sure it's coming um, centered the best you can okay so then I just go like that I'm going to burnish it in a little bit. <clears throat> okay. 
Next you have this piece. And so you just need one of these. This is the bottom, okay? So I just cut one of those. There are two score lines. Just fold on each score line. Okay, and then kind of burnish that in. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, let's see, how am I going to undo mine? I am going to, um, I'm going to line my, this, um, line up right here with this, okay? So I'm just going to line that up right there and glue it. Now on the inside, I'm still going to have this flap. Um, from the other tab. I've seen some people cut one or the other off, but I'm just going to leave mine. I'm just, I'll just glue this down once I get in there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on this side, on this piece, on this flap. Okay. And just light it up the best I can. <clears throat> like to do is kind of fold it over sure it's looking good and I pulled it off already sometimes it, that happens so it's looking it's looking like I got it I always like fold it so I can see that it's See, now I can tell that it's a little bit off. So I'm going to try and move it just a tad. Okay. And then burnish it again. Okay. <clears throat> and now that... Um, and no, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. This, I'm going to glue. I took it off. I'm going to glue it to the bottom right here. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up with the bottom piece rather than the tab. At least that's what I did on my other one, so that's why I'm gonna, that's why I'm trying to do it the same way that I did the other. And that was what I meant by having <clears throat> the other flap on the inside. And of course, I always struggle when I'm doing it on. I'm trying to film. Trying to make it not too long. This is what always happens. That's okay. Okay, so now I have it attached so you can see it on the bottom. Okay, so now this is what I meant by this flap inside here is still loose. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some on here. Okay. And then burnish that down. Okay. I just, I mean, I could, you can easily cut it off. I just feel like it, you know, it gives it more stability anyway. Okay. All right, let's see if I can do this right this time. Okay. So I'm going to so turn it upside down. I'm going to fold that flap in, and that will help me get this lined up easier this time. Hopefully. that flap. We'll just go ahead and attach that right here. Okay. 
put it down. <coughs> So there's those two pieces. There's the front and the back. Okay. Now we have this piece, which is the side piece. So you're going to need two of these. So I've got these two cut. And it also comes with this piece to layer it. So again, I cut two of those, which gives me this, the frame, and the solid piece. So again, I'm going to take my solid piece and just put it over there the best I can just because I wanted to look so when you put it all together so it's you could see more of you know I think it makes the pattern paper stand out better because you can when you can't see through it like that okay so I'm just gonna go along the very edge on this one too Okay, there is a score mark right down here on the bottom. So I'm gonna, I should have done that first, but I'll just pull it right back. It'll be okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take my piece and just center it over this. Okay, so it covers that up. Okay, same thing. Let's go ahead and fold up this line first. <clears throat> okay. Trim this. Let's go ahead and put some down the center to tack this. I forgot to do it on the other one, but if I need to, I will. Okay, so then it gives you the, you know, so it, see how it makes the paper, you can see more where the pattern is on the paper when you back it. So, I mean, it's plenty sturdy and everything, and it looks cute without the backing, but for this one, since I use pattern paper, I wanted to, um, yeah, to back it, so that's why I did that. <clears throat> All right. Next thing I'm going to do is let's flip this over and put our outline piece that we cut out. We'll put that right there. Okay. Do that on each side real quick. This is such a cute jelly bag. I love these jelly bags. They're so fun to um, you know load up and put stuff in for gifts or for swaps or whatever so it's they're super nice and it's nice to have one for the <coughs> the different holidays so just kind of line this up so you're on the edges and kind of smooth it out okay around go ahead and do the other one for this side I'm a little sloppy with my glue <laughs> all right let's line it up there I kind of start up here at the handle get that lined up and then start to kind of, you know, turn it a bit or pull it, whatever I need to do to make sure it's all lined up. Okay, there we go. So these are both lined up. Okay, now it also comes with this piece. This will give you, it just cuts out the handle. So if you want your handle to be a different color, you can have it that way, or you can just leave it like that. I went ahead and used it so I could make my handle a different color. I wanted to have this pink glitter handle. So I went ahead and cut two of these out and now I'm gonna glue this and lay this right on top. Okay, so there you go for that one. Here's my other. Okay, 
Okay, put that right here. Make sure it's lined up. Whoopsie, missed. Okay, so there we go on that. Okay, now we are ready <clears throat> to put the sides on. And let's see, sure. I'm gonna line, I'm gonna put, there's this piece here for the lining of the, um, of the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there, right there, I guess, right now. So um, that's what this piece looks like. You just need one of these. It's just a layering piece for the bottom. I'm just going to center it in there. Okay, so it looks nice and finished. All right, now <clears throat> I'm going to take my side piece and I'm going to put some glue just right here on this little flap right here. sure that this so I'm gonna fold <clears throat> fold my flap under and line it up right here on the edge that helps me to know I'm getting it straight okay and then I'll burnish that down okay do it from the other side also all right same thing for the other side A while there. Okay, fold this in so I can line up my edges to make sure I get it straight and even. Okay, there we go. Open up this. Oops, I got a little on the inside so it's sticking. Hang on. Hang on, I got a little wild with it so it's wanting to stick. All the way through so you can open that up there we go let's just get this down now what I could have done also was um, cut two of these and cut on the inside when I attached the other one I think I attached it to the outside um, oh, I can't remember anyway but I um, I did cover the inside with this piece too so you could do two of these and cover the bottom and the inside of the bottom okay <coughs> All right, now, now this isn't, I didn't glue this down real great, so let me, this is the one I forgot to put some on this other little pieces to make sure that it stayed. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, and let's go ahead and flip this over because I need to put our border on this one. It'll be much easier now than when we start gluing down those rounded edges, okay? So I'm just going to line up the top with the top of the side panel right here. Just bring it down. Okay, looking good. around, do the same thing. Line it up with the top piece. Just want to leave your little teeth things. Um, Leaning out right there. Okay, and what did I did on my other one, but what I forgot to do on this one, was um, give a little belt, bit of rounding to my to my sides here, because they gotta they have to um, 
you know, curve in. So I'm just going to take this like this and kind of roll it the best I can. <laughs> it's a lot easier if you do it before you attach it. Okay, so now we are all ready to go ahead and um, fold it up and attach the sides. Holding these um, edges just to make sure it's all good. But you know, the bottom pieces or the side pieces. Okay, and now I'm just going to go ahead and um, just kind of take these and just bend them all in. I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides. I tend to, um, when I'm gonna glue around it, these rounded edges like this, I kind of tend to do like both sides first. And what I mean by that is I'll start with this and I won't do this other side until I do this one. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm just gonna go through and put a little bit of glue on each of those little teeth things there. tabs, but I'm calling them teeth. Okay, and then just stick them inside. Okay. And just round it. Okay. And you're just going to have to hold it there for a while if you're losing, using liquid glue, which I recommend because then you can then you can move it if you need to. Uh, yeah, you have to hold it for a minute, but I think it turns out better that way than to have it stuck and then having to pull it apart, you know, and redo it. And once you get to stick a, a, a little bit at least, then what I usually do is flip it over onto my surface and then I just take my finger or bone fold or something like that and make sure that I have it all um, burnished down. Okay. I'll check it again, make sure I have it still lined up. Keep applying pressure as I'm keeping it lined up. Another reason that I go to the other side too and do this one side on this other end is that way it gives us either side time to dry more instead of having to sit here and wait for it because if you try and bend this and hook it right now it's you got more of a chance of it um, of the one that you already did coming undone so teeth at a time if you want to and I was doing that but I found out I was doing just as well with <laughs> getting it all doing it all at the same time so that's what I've been doing now just as long as I don't try and move on too fast from from this step okay I'm just using rather than putting it down I'm just using my finger inside there and on top kind of push it putting it together, but definitely lay it down, burnish it in once you make sure you have it, you know, the right, right, okay. So now I'm gonna go back to the other side because it's had a little bit more time to dry. <clears throat> and now I'm just gonna tuck these all in. Okay. Okay, just kind of 
curve it and bend it. Same time. Okay. Okay. And you can see I let it go for a minute and it comes in down a little bit. I don't have it. You know, just right, but that's what I want in order to be able to make sure that I have it lined up right. <clears throat> Rather than to have it to tear it apart. I mean, I've torn apart ones before and redid it, but each time you <laughs> tear it apart, it makes, you know, the paper thinner. So, um, you know, you might be able to get it apart and redo it, but um, it does make a little, when you tear it apart, it kind of makes the pieces thinner. Stick my finger in there and press down again. Okay. All right, and now we're ready for the last side. Just again. With the glue on the teeth. I don't know if everybody calls them teeth or not, but I call them teeth. And just kind of round it the best you can. Like I said, it would have rounded better had I remembered prior to gluing it to round the paper. But it still works. so cute. These bags turn out so darling and they hold so much too. So. Okay, let me put my hand in there. I'm gonna press it down. I know you can't see inside there guys, but that's what I'm doing is just putting my hand or the bone folder in there and just pressing it down. And then and voila, it is done. So with the when you line like that, you, the insides are kind of pretty much covered. I could have I could cut another one of the the layering pieces for the bottom, and and put that in there to cover up those ends a little bit, which I'll probably do since I got the tabs on the inside. But you can see, it's all nice and finished on the outside. Holds a lot of stuff, and now all we have to do is decorate. So this one's I started to decorate. I don't think I'm done yet, but um, look how cute that looks. And like I say, with my the paper that I used and I wanted to use, I, you couldn't see through it real well with out covering the, you know, the the holes. So because once I've done in the past, I haven't covered. So anyway, but I thought that worked out really good. And you could, you know, like trace this and stuff and and you know, and just cut it out by hand to cover it. But I just thought that worked so good. As I mean, there's a tiny little, you can see like some tiny little air showing through there, you know, or light through it, showing through there where it didn't, you know, cover. But for the most part, um, it's, you can't tell, and it's got it all covered. So it gives you a solid. So anyway, that's the tutorial for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will have Erica's website linked. My discount code, Polka10, will be listed down at, below. And then I'll also um, put link to the die. Alright, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.